a ship travels 25 miles due west. It then changes direction. We don't know what direction it goes, but it goes for 45 miles. And at this point, we now know that it's 62 miles from where it started. So if we labeled the point of departure A and B, at the ending of the 25 miles, and then C, the next point, we want to describe the bearing from point D to point C in the figure. So we have three sides in our triangle, and we need to learn an angle in the triangle, so we use law of cosines to do that. So B, the cosine of angle B would be equal to 62 squared minus 45 squared minus 25 squared divided by negative 2 times 45 times 25. So to find what angle B is, we're going to take the inverse cosine of the numerator divided by the denominator. So we're going to enter on our calculator. Second cosine parentheses, 62 squared minus 45 squared minus 25 squared divided by negative 2 times 45 times 25. Close our parentheses and we'll get that angle B is 122.051 degrees. So if we know that our angle B is 122.051 degrees, and we want to write the bearing from point B to point C, then there's a couple of different ways to do this. First of all, remember to write a bearing, you have to have a north-south line. So we could measure the angle that starts north and goes all the way around clockwise, or we could write it as a uh, north-south-east-west measure, and that's how I'm going to write this answer. So if I want to know what this little angle is, I know from here to here is 90. So if we subtract 90 degrees from the answer that we just had, we'll come up with 32.051 degrees, which means the bearing of C from B would mean that you would have to go north 32.051 degrees and then turn west. Uh, if we wanted to write it uh, just as an angle measure, we could have said, or the bearing is 360 minus the 32.051 would be a bearing of 327 point uh, nine four nine degrees and that would be this angle measured from north all the way around to point C.